Welcome to my talk about Patira, a reversely-based open-source tool for post-silicon validation of processor cores at MoCos 2021. Post-silicon validation uses vast amounts of engineering resources and increases time to market. One aspect of validation is testing edge cases manually. This, however, does not scale. Another aspect is that architectural models limit validation speed especially if random data is used because the generation of the golden reference is low. Therefore, an approach based on the reversing methodology is chosen which automatically generates, generates test benches and can be applied on any processor because it is based on the processor verifying itself. I want to introduce the reversing approach step by step. The first step consists of modifying initial data with an operation. In this example, this is an addition. In the next step, the operation is reversed. Here, this is done by a subtraction. In the final step, the initial and resulting data are compared to detect errors. If either the modifying or reversing operation is faulty, the comparison will fail and an error is detected. The reverse approach can be used on random data because the processor validates itself. If, for example, an instruction loses information, for example, in a shift left operation, the to be lost information has to be saved before the modification, and after the reversing operation, it has to be restored. Therefore, any instruction can be reversed. Now, I want to introduce the Patara framework which implements the reversi approach. In the diagram, the red parts are processor specific and the blue parts are processor independent. There is a processor and architecture description which have an XML format for easy modifications. Next, instructions and features get selected. The features can be saturation, overflow, and conditional modes. The test bench generator generates assembly um, test cases with the features and instructions which can be executed on the processor. The goal is to minimize the change effort between processors. I now want to introduce the extensions to Reversi we implemented in Patara. Firstly, we added subword parallelism to the design. Then, we added support for conditional execution on individual subwords. Finally, we added support for multiple issue slots. This is relevant if there are issue slot dependent flags, for example, conditional execution. To evaluate the Patara approach, the coverage efficiency is evaluated, evaluated for Kovaka, which is our own developed VLIW SIMD ASAP. The goal is to, to compare handwritten test benches with the Patara generated test benches. A subset of units and instructions will be analyzed, namely the permutation unit, advanced arithmetic, and bit logic unit. The results are obtained with Quesosm 10.6a from Enter. On the left, the coverage ratio is shown for coverage metrics. For all of the metrics, 5 to 10 repetitions of the complete ESA lead to higher coverage ratios than the handwritten edged cases. After 50 repetitions, 100% coverage ratio is achieved, which is not achievable with handwritten test benches. On the right, the number of instructions is plotted against the either repetitions. Matara needs more instructions than handwritten test benches. For example, it needs three times more for a similar coverage ratio. In conclusion, we introduced Matara, an open source post-silicon validation tool for any processor. Patara can increase validation speed on random data because no architectural simulation must run. We extended the reversing methodology with subword parallelism, conditional execution, and multiple issue slot support. To demonstrate the coverage efficiency, we showed that 100% coverage is possible on Kovaka, a VLIW SIMD processor. We also demonstrated that Patara can achieve higher coverage ratios than handwritten test benches. Finally, Patara is an open source and we invite you to take a look on GitHub if you are interested.